me to my review of the Simistil film D76 powders. Um, today we're going to be mixing um, both washes up with the developer and also the flicks. So join me on this journey because man, it is a journey um, to get these uh, chemicals mixed for processing color film at home. As you can see, um, I do have the Cinestill Film um, Temperature Control System Kit. It includes the two black bottles, um, the temperature regulator, the bucket, and the pitcher as well. Um, here are the instructions that come with the Chemical Mixing Powders Kit. It gives you my times for development, the temperatures, um, and for each step in the process. Um, there we go, right there. Um, and it's designed to work specifically really well with the immersion system, which is the red device on the right. Um, and if you didn't see the unboxing of that, um, go ahead and check out my other video um, where I unbox the Cinestill Film Temperature Control Immersion Device. Um, as I was getting familiar with this device, um, I noticed that the button system wasn't quite as intuitive as I thought, so I tried to ditch the instructions. Be like, oh yeah, I got this, it makes sense. And I uh, realized, um, no, I didn't got this, and it didn't make sense, and I needed to read the damn instructions. So uh, once I finally did that, my fumbling around stops, and, and things become a lot more smooth. Um, and also just a heads up about this video specifically, this is not a success and a triumph video. This is a this is what happens when you're trying something for the very first time, even when you have a lot of experience. So um, be encouraged, be reminded that you are human, and be reminded that it's okay to mess it all up. Um, so that's what we're going to look at today. I'm going to go ahead and speed forward the video, um, and then we'll pause it at crucial points. So enjoy, you guys. So here I'm just loading up the uh, bucket to get it to the minimum line um, and actually I ended up somewhere in between minimum and maximum fill on the temperature regulator um, which is what tells you how much water to put in um, and because here when you're putting bottles in and out later throughout the process um, the volume rises and falls accordingly. And here I try and take off the um, tank holders and the little widget that sticks um, and holds it into the Cinestill immersion piece um, got bent because of the water was already so warm. As you can see on the temperature panel, it's already almost at 100 degrees. So uh, just word to the wise, be careful when taking that thing on and off. All right, that little beep 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 just let me know that the temperature has reached the desired and preset 102. And then right now, I just showed you on the, the picture um, that um, there is a marking for how much water to put in when you're using a powder kit, so it's already preset and uh, showed for you. And now we're getting ready to mix the developer, so I'm letting the temperature re-rise, and then I'm grabbing the developer bath powder. Just sniff that packet open, and while the immersion guy is immersing, go ahead and put the powder in with water and let it do its job. There's no set pre time for how long to do this, um, so just until everything looks mixed, and then the last step is to add um, extra water to top it off to a thousand milliliters. Now, I don't know if you guys just saw that color shift in the tub to the left. Um, but as soon as I put the immersion guy back into my water bath, um, it shot pink. And so I'm not still even sure quite what that means, but I know it's not supposed to happen.
All right, I've got my tub reset, and now I'm just going to rinse out my next bottle uh, for the Blix. And now that I've got the developer all squared away. So give that just a fresh rinse. First time using it. Now I'm just going to keep my developer, now that it's all sealed up and nice and ready, and let it hang out in the bath and stay at that 102, because my plan is to develop some film right after I get everything back for today. Yay, and now it's time for the clicks. So go ahead and I'm going to start with the process, getting everything set, getting some water ready for the powder, because again we're going to have to remix with the immersion system to get the powder mixed into a liquid. So just getting the right dosage, turning off the blendy part while I transfer it so I can start mixing the blicks, turn on the blendy part so it mixes the water and the powder together. Once I get to temperature at 102, which is the recommended um, temp for processing, I grab part A. So for the Blix, there's two packets, so just be aware of that. You're going to have an A and a B. Make sure you put them in in the right order. Um, start with A and with B. So right now we're just getting A mixed into the water. Now I'm just rinsing off the immersion guy under some warm water to get rid of the chemical residue. And I'm following the instructions by pouring part A that's already mixed into a container. To get all the good powdery goodness. Again, that's just part A. It's pre-mixed with water going into the receptacle. Now we grab part B. And this part of the instructions, I don't know why it was put this way, but it was um, that you're supposed to put part B into the final container like this, rather than doing the easier job of pouring it into um, the pitcher. But regardless, I want it to be by the letter, so I went by the letter. Now, after we get all the powdery goodness in there, um, you have a five minute wait time for the thermal reaction. And so you just hang out, get ready, set the timer, and wait. After the timer goes off, then you spend the next few minutes pouring the chemicals back and forth to really make sure A and B are thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. And I actually think I started this, yeah, I started this process early because, um, you know, I'm impatient and I wanted it to go faster. So I started mixing them um, back and forth before the five minutes was up. Um, and also with that, um, I realized too that the water would be increasingly getting cooler as it stayed out of the bath, so I thought mixing while the water was its warmest would probably actually be beneficial, and I didn't have any problems in that regard, so I recommend it. And that's the end of mixing up the powder chemicals from Sinistil. Um, go ahead and watch the next video, part two, on uh, my review of it for disaster and implosion. All right, see you guys around. Bye-bye.